to to Washington. I have learned that there are some who try to sow dissension to advance their own agenda by tearing others apart in an effort to undermine President Trump's own agenda. I do not and I will not operate that way. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson reaffirming his support for President Trump yesterday. This after a bombshell report claimed he was close to resigning over the summer and had vented to colleagues that the president was a, quote, moron. President Trump standing by his top diplomat. I'm very honored by his comments. It was fake news. It was a totally phony story. Thank you very much. It was made up. It was made up by NBC. They just made it up. Thank you all. Thank you. Total confidence in Rex. I have total confidence. Let's bring in Brett Baer, anchor of Special Report. Brett, good to see you this morning. Good morning, Senator. So you saw Rex Tillerson in that unplanned uh, news conference saying he stands by this president, that this is just all silly news. The president then tweeting out that, uh, that this is essentially fake news. Did they clear the air on this? Does this go away? Well, I don't think it goes away, but it does show you how um, outsiders from Washington, people who are not politicians, for example, Donald Trump and Rex Tillerson, um, you know, they, they operate in different ways. And th this place uh, and how it's covered is can get kind of swampy in, in uh, Donald Trump uh, terminology. And anonymous sources saying he said this and he did this, uh, you then have to hear from the, the players themselves. So the Secretary of State making clear that he's not leaving, doesn't have plans to leave, unless, of course, the president asked him to leave, uh, and also making clear there was a lot of coverage of what he didn't say in the ans answer to the question, did he use that term? Mm. And uh, so Heather Nauert had to come out later and kind of make it definitive. I think it eventually goes away, but what is clear, Sandra, is that there are splits in this administration when it comes to policy, uh, the Iran deal, um, how to deal with Qatar, uh, North Korea, and that is not a bad thing to have a debate about different policy issues. So the president took to Twitter uh, to respond to all this on multiple occasions at this point, and he's really using it as an opportunity to hit the media. He tweeted this, Rex Tillerson never threatened to resign. This is fake news put out by at NBC News, low news and reporting standards, no verification from me. However, critics have responded and said, Brett, you know what, there is there is mixed messages coming out of this White House when it comes to the State Department and President Trump's words on foreign policy, as you suggest, just suggested. Are they reining that in? Are they getting that under control? I don't know. You have to look at it a couple of different ways. Is the North Korea distance between Rex Tillerson and the president more of a good cop, bad cop situation? where they are trying to play North Korea to eventually get to some negotiated settlement. We don't know behind the scenes of that. Of that. Clearly, Rex Tillerson and his State Department uh, is less powerful than we've seen in State Departments of past, uh, and they are cutting back. Uh, and it's not, you know, a great scenario when the bureaucracy sees uh, cuts and uh, s efforts to make the, it smaller. Uh, but that is part of his job. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if it uh, it means that he's leaving anytime soon. And Rich Lowry, na a National Review editor, uh, he had this to say about it in Politico yesterday, Brad. He said the former ExxonMobil chief might imagine himself indispensable as a minder of the president. Yet Trump is now surrounded by generals who no, no one doubts are responsible and influential. If Tillerson left, the government would operate as before, except with some chance there'd be a secretary of state better suited to the role. Your response to that? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of harsh, but it's, it's his, his thought process. Listen, the president chose Rex Tillerson on the advice of Condi Rice and Bob Gates. Uh, he comes from ExxonMobil. He essentially ran a company the size of a small country. He has uh, ties around the world and brings a different perspective than perhaps generals who have spent their time uh, in the military uh, bring to uh, advice and consent. So I think that, um, you know, it's the president's call. And so far from yesterday's comments, he's not doing anything. A busy day in Washington. Brett's gearing up for special report 6 p.m. Eastern time tonight. Brett, thanks for coming on. Thanks, Andrew.